happy Sunday. <clears throat> well, this is your very blooming style appetizer for the week. And why am I doing it like this with these amazing, can you just like see the size of these things? Amazing. So I wanted to um, share with you guys. I don't know even know if this is a share. This is just a foundational tenant of my life that beauty is our birthright. And I talk about that a lot. And I just got these beautiful flowers from my man. Look at these, aren't they absolutely gorgeous? And it reminded me to share this with you. And the reason why I wanna share it with you is it isn't just like, look, you can do this for someone. You can bring someone flowers and make their day. And the reason why it makes our day or it, it just gets people so happy is not the act of bringing flowers. It's that you went out of your way and you thought about someone way in advance of actually seeing them. You picked out a really great flower shop or you went around and in the flower shop and you found these beautiful colors. Like what he did was, you know, there's burgundy in here there's pink, there's white, there's purple, there's all these flowers that he knows that I love. And so the intentionality behind flowers is a lot of what the, the end result is about. And so if that result is happening from other people sending us flowers or bringing us flowers or bringing us these beautiful, amazing gifts that have forethought, what if you did it with yourself? And so I do that a lot. Like often I go out and I buy flowers and then we are used to doing this. We're used to putting them in a vase and then having them all be absolutely gorgeous, cutting them, making sure the water is done and, and changing the water. What if you spread the love? And so what I wanna tell you is that you can buy a bunch of flowers for $10 at Trader Joe's and then you can find these beautiful vessels and you can spread the love and put one rose in corners of your rooms, even in the kitchen. I even have them in my kitchen. This happens to be a champagne flute, okay? You can use a wine bottle. It doesn't matter. This is a beautiful wine bottle. I love it because it has an emblem in the front. You can use a wine bottle. You can even use... For those, you know, sometimes they break off. You use a champagne cup. You put water in it and then you put one or two of them in here. You can put them next to your makeup table. You can put them in your bathroom. I, am, I did this on purpose because I wanted you to see. You can use an old beer bottle, okay? It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could be something very, very simple. You can use, just use a glass, a, a stemless wine glass. Look, I did. One of these had broken off, so I put it into a wine cup, wine glass. And the truth is, then you have 12 versions of a rose of a beautiful thing that's alive and somewhere in your house. And when you pass by it, it does something to our soul. So don't wait for someone to come and do this for you. Just do your own thing. Buy yourself some roses, get them into a beautiful vase, vases all over your house. Make sure that no matter where you put them, you put them somewhere where you can see them. Don't just put, stick them away in a corner. Put them somewhere where you know you're going to come across it even in the other bathroom, even in a kitchen corner, even in your bedroom, or especially in your bedroom, because beauty is our birthright. And looking at something absolutely gorgeous and alive and beautiful, and something that smells really delicious, will brighten your soul. I promise you it'll brighten your soul. So now you can put one in your closet. I do. <laughs> in my closet room. So Go do something wonderful for yourself. You're worth it.
It works if you work it. It works if you work it and you're worth it. It works if you're worth it and you're worth it. <laughs> so go out and be beautiful. Sparkle up the world. Let me know which corner of the universe you're lighting up today and know that there is so much love here for you. And I can't wait to see you and wrestle you to the ground. And make sure to play in your closet. It's super important. And send me pictures. And I wanted to also take a moment right now. Thank you for all of you who click on the YouTube link and you go and you subscribe and you share this with other people. And most of all, for your beautiful comments. So go out, make the world more beautiful. Remember, tell someone that beauty is our birthright and sparkle up the world. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Happy Sunday.